Right, today I'm gonna try to fix my CD player and this is what's going on when I when I try to play it CD got stuck I pushed it and it doesn't want to eject it I'm pushing the eject button nothing's going on so we need to take it apart and see what's going on to take the console apart we need to slide this out and this basically you you just pull <sighs> okay there are two screws on both sides i've already removed them yesterday the bottom and then you push i mean and then you pull from the top it also snaps all right need to this need to disconnect the cable now there are one and two screws on each side that we need to remove to remove the entire device to remove cd from the case all we need to do is take those two front screws and one and two over here to remove that tape all you have to do is push those brown levers on both sides to release the tape this particular model of uh, Mitsubishi Outlander, I found it uh, the hard way that the only way to fix those rollers that are inside is really to take this entire board out and uh, otherwise it's gonna be almost impossible to do it because there are a bunch of springs that need to be attached. So if you're not ready to work with this board and unsolder it, basically all you have to do is unsolder this connector, this connector, and this connector, and the board will uh, be able to uh, be lifted of that metal case. And that there are springs inside, about three they need to remove. And without doing that, it's almost impossible. And to remove the board, then you have metal connectors. I don't know how we call them. Metal things that you twist to remove it. So there's one over here. There is another one right here. There's one over here and one over here. I've they already open. So now because I'm done with it, I need to go and move this like that to prevent the board from moving. And now this is in the lock position. This is in unlock position. Removing this tape, you also have to remove this tape. This is the connector for the the motor that spins this uh, CD, and you also need to remove this. This one is the same principle. You need to move those levers up, slide the whole tape out. So this is where we have the problem. This is the roller that is pushing the CD player in and out. It's made out of rubber, but as you can see, it is moving separately from this head. So if this gets stuck, see everything is moving. So now I need to somehow glue the metal part to the rollers. So when there's a little pressure on this roller, this whole thing is not going to be moving separately. There's gonna be enough traction to push the CD in and out. That's where the problem is. So what I've decided to do is to remove that metal shaft out of this plastic thing and roughen that with the sandpaper because this is very, very shiny. So no wonder the uh, rubber parts, those, so no wonder those rubber parts are sliding because there is no, no, there is no friction. So I'm gonna roughen that up with this uh, sandpaper until this is nice and dull. Then I'm gonna put some uh, glue on it. I'm gonna start with super glue and see if that's gonna get stuck and it's gonna get good uh, friction. So this is the super glue I used. I squeezed a little bit of the super glue inside of the tubes and slide it back on the a metal shaft and when I'm holding the shaft this is nice and still and it's 
really not moving so I'm thinking this is gonna be my fix and I just have to put everything back together alrighty so I put everything back together I'm trying to move this and roller is not spinning I've also put a little super glue on top and inside of this plastic uh, wheel and looks like everything should be fine now and there is nice traction on those rollers I'm just gonna clean and put everything together and I will see if it's going to work so I've been fighting with the bunch of springs for the past uh, I guess three hours so finally I gave up and I decided to take the top off the board uh, and solder that from the connections so I can put everything together and put all the springs and then I'm going to solder this back and hopefully this is gonna work little tip after you put that plastic uh, tray with the rollers uh, in and assemble the metal part before putting any springs put those two screws in so everything is gonna hold together and it's not gonna let go and then situate and all the springs now uh, since I took off the board finally I can have a good access to this spring this spring and the spring that goes from here to right of this this part right here it is really nightmare if you're not gonna take the board off she's gonna be fighting forever so this spring is on this spring is on and finally this spring is on so let's do the test let's see if it's going to take the cd beautiful and if it's going to eject Alrighty, and it's ejecting with no problems. Problem solved. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.